Beating Minecraft with a modded goose that trolls me. Part 2. The end. Watch part 1 if you haven't already and you want to, but you don't have to. All the footage in this video took up 182.1 gigabytes of space on my computer with recordings adding up to 11 hours and 42 minutes, all comprised into an intense 16 minute viewing experience. So go grab your preferred beverage to drink, sit down comfortably, and if you watch the whole thing, that would make me super happy. Maybe even smash the like button a little bit if you enjoyed it too. That'd be real nice. I take my horse Paul out on an epic journey to kill cows for leather. I ride back and kill my sugar canes for paper. Time to make literature, which I then turn into bookcases that become a library. But not before the goose says no and steals my mouse. But I, I say yes, because I really want a library. I realize now that you only need 15 bookshelves for Max and Chad, but screw it, I, I got a pretty nice library now. Unfortunately, he lost his name. I named him uh, Satan himself, but that disappeared. He's back to goose now. All these chickens that I've gathered, I'm basically throwing that out the window. I realized... Why shouldn't I just enchant my bow so I can have infinite arrows? When I'm down there with the ender dragon and the goose is stealing my mouse and bringing me creepers, I don't want to run out of arrows as well. So what I've done is I have, I've even closed this off so the goose can't destroy the bookshelves. When he walks around with dirt on these bookshelves, he destroys them. You only need like, what the f did he do? Oh my god, he ruined my chest again. If you get bad enchantments, the way to get new ones is basically to just enchant a book. I now enchant useless books for a very long time. I didn't realize that the goose had put a sign here that was making some of the bookcases have no effect, thus making my max enchant level only 28. I finally got it. Get the freak out of the way, goose. Get the infinity fucking bow. That's it, that's the goal. But first, I need level 30, so for XP, I feed my goose lookalikes, then slaughter them. What the hell are you doing here? Did you plan this? Did you plan to ambush me while I was taking care of your family? What that? Where's the goose? Where's the... He planned this. He dropped something. He dropped a leather cap. I could use that for nothing. Everything went according to the goose's plan. Alright. Oh shit, look at what you... Look at what you did! Goose, what have you done? Okay, follow me. Follow me. <laughs> Wait, what? He ate it! Honk, delicious. Frick you, goose. Look at what you did. I had a perfect farm. Why did you have to release your family like that? It was time to acquire the infinity bow. Power four. An infinity. That's not bad, right? I'm putting that right in the ender chest to prepare for my adventure. Now I need enchantments for my sword. Sharpness four. Diamond sword. Not bad. I get XP and then I enchant my sword. That's not bad. I make a diamond helmet, I make diamond sneakers, I make diamond pants, and I make a diamond shirt. I play ping pong with creepers, but the goose got the point. No way. Yikes. I now need feather falling on my boots for when the ender dragon knocks me up in the air. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Feather falling for. I feed my chickens and kill some skeletons for XP. <gasps> Level 30, baby. Feather falling for. Struggling to get ender pearls from endermen, I enchant an iron sword with looting for more drops and head out. After spotting an enderman, I build these epic things for protection. Finally a pearl. This one even gave me a little bonus. He dropped two! Yes! But it's easy to get greedy oh. when things are finally going well. I just need to look at him once. Yes, I know I'm spamming my sword, but it's to knock them back for Christ's sake. Stop commenting that. This is risky. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? No! What? No! What? I'm a... <laughs> Please. Please. No. No. Please. Please have mercy. No. <laughs> he brought me him. That was the goose. It was the goo- I lost all those ender pearls and the looting sword. And I was done killing endermen without getting anything. Bruh. I figured out that I could enslave villagers and trade with them for ender pearls instead. I gotta release these lazy bathing fricks. You've been bathing for months, but it's finally time to get out. Come, follow me. Whoa! No! 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 I needed those people. We got two left. I try to dig a hole under one of the villagers. What if I... What if I... Oh! No. No! I was gonna dig a hole. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I had another village as a plan B, though. So you need to go down here. 
I trapped them in holes and assigned them to their jobs. The goal is to give sticks to this man for emeralds and then I pay the emeralds to this guy but before he can sell me the ender pearls, I gotta buy a bunch of useless crap so he levels up which takes a long time chopping down trees for sticks at a rate that would give Mr. Beast nightmares and when he finally levels up it's only a 50% chance that he will have ender pearls for trade anyway and if he doesn't I gotta restart the whole process but I take any odds in times like these. He's an expert and he doesn't have the trade. I gotta redo everything that I just did. A lot of cutting down trees and trading later. Please have ender pearls. If he doesn't, I'm the unluckiest person in the world. You're kidding. <gasps> ender pearls! <laughs> That's not bad at all. I take it. I buy a bunch of pearls and head home. Back at my base, I'm reminded to always pause the game in the future when I go to the toilet. I craft some ender chests as my last preparation and I'm putting all my best stuff in this ender chest because I don't want to risk falling into a ravine or something and losing everything in one second. I now have protection 4 on pretty much all my armor. Paul, you know what's happening next morning? We're killing a dragon. Okay, before we leave, we're gonna take one last look at these signs that the goose put out. Maybe there's some clues. Maybe there's some clues to this final battle. You mess with the honk, you get the bonk. I'm not fat, I'm chunk. Honk. To do honk. Be goose, do honk. Hello person, I wrote sign. I ride towards the stronghold, but the goose does everything in his power to stop me. I build these little things so I can find my way back if I need to. Eventually, I find another village. They had a little bit of food, but nothing breathtaking. I ride over mountains. I throw pearls to make sure I'm riding in the right direction. I ride through the night, and I stumble upon an invisible wandering trader. What the hell? This is cursed. Where's the damn guy? I don't know. I wait out the night next to this epic mountain. In the morning I ride through this forest and on the other side I throw a pearl. Wait, it's going back! We're getting close, we're getting real close. I realized that I had passed the stronghold, I'm getting very close now. Oh, he went down here. It's right here. He literally put the sign right where it is. I build a quick little house right over the stronghold. Here we go gamers. When I was organizing my chest, the goose saw its opportunity. Actually, let's have those in the chest, I don't need- WHOA! No, 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 no! My horse. In the arms of an angel. I find my way back to my original house and after crafting some more tools, I'm on my way to the stronghold once again. I was 99.99999% certain that I lost my items. <gasps> oh my god, the stuff is still here, I didn't lose anything. Oh yes. I rebuild my house before. <gasps> no, don't you dare. Are you kidding me? I built a separate house for my bed. I wasn't taking any risks. But the goose still had his fun. <gasps> no! After rebuilding it for the 50th time, I come to a horrible realization. Stole my helmet. Wait, didn't I enchant that one? Does it reset? Oh my god, don't say it resets the enchantment if he steals it. Yes, it does. And I'm screwed with my infinity bow. What did I think? Where's my horse? No! Did they kill Paul? Paul McCartney. Did the goose kill Paul? For Paul. We're gonna dig for Paul. I will now dedicate this dragon fight to my lost friend, Paul. You were a good horse. <gasps> I'm legit nervous. He brought me a friend. Of course, he's gonna bring me so many friends. Oh man. There's not a shortage of friends down here. I can assure you that, Goose. Oh my god, it's in a ravine or something. That's not good. Oh my god, no. That's bad. Look at that. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? What is this? Oh god! There's a chest right there. He just jumped down. What is this place? Oh! Oh my god! What I can do is I can knock them back. Get back into the ravine with you! If I lose this armor, it's not gonna be fun. I just wanna find this portal ASAP. Okay, I'm exploring this part first. Oh, that's a spawner. <gasps> that's the- that's the portal! Are you kidding me? That's the portal! What? How did I find it so fast? I'm now being outnumbered by cave hamsters that are coming from the spawner, but I didn't realize at the time. Okay, you're starting to hurt a little bit. It doesn't end! The goose is destroying the blocks, which makes these guys spawn. Plus the spawner that I forgot about. He's making this so much harder than it has to be, because these blocks are infested. And when he- <gasps> No! Shit just got very real. No! Golden apple! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm shaking. No, he brings me friends. I managed to find an escape path, but I'm on the wrong side of the ravine. Stop walking around, Goose. There's the library. Did I come from there? I think I came from there. I think I fell, fell down from there. After finding my way back to the portal room, what I feared the most happens. <gasps> no, he stole my sword. That's gonna lose the enchantment, I think. I destroy the cave hamster spotter, put a few chests and a bed. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, shit. Uh, <gasps> am I putting... Okay, I need... Oh, no. He almost pushed me into the portal. Oh, holy... F I was about to lose everything. I put on my enchanted armor with the risk of it being unenchanted by the goose at any given time. I also realize once again... If he steals my bow, my infinity arrow bow, that I don't know what to do. I don't have enough arrows. It was finally time. Oh my god, where am I? Okay, okay, this is pretty good. I'm just being safe here. I mean, we're in the end. I build a three square kilometer platform over, but I'm not taking any risks. The goose now confirms that he is in fact working for the Ender Dragon. <gasps> oh no, he, dro he dropped my helmet. He dropped my helmet. <gasps> Yikes, dragon. I make my way up to the main platform and start firing my infinite arrows on the towers. I'm so bad at aiming too. Did I get it? While attempting to shoot a second tower, horror strikes. He stole it! I don't have any arrows. What do I do now? I'm out of arrows. I had infinity arrows on that thing. Look at this. Bruh. I gotta destroy these by hand. I worked so hard for that enchantment and now it's all gone. <gasps> oh, I'm aggro. Wait. I've now pissed off two and remember that won't be a problem for now. After killing them, it's time for plan B. This is the way I have to do it. This is probably gonna kill me. Oh man, I did it! You knocked me out! <gasps> Luckily, I had my bed, so I'm quickly back in action. I realize that this is not a viable strategy without a wooden axe, and on top of that, the goose is getting increasingly more evil. He stole my feather falling boots. The enchantment is gone. All this time I spent on enchanting this stuff is just a waste. I had feather falling. I had infinity arrows. I got this. I got this. I know what I'm doing. I did under no circumstance know what I was doing. Yeah, I, I did that. No shit. No! The water is... I don't have water. I'm literally 2 IQ. I still managed to build up and get that crystal though. Being so stressed out by the dragon being so close, it's time for more unepic game removes. Oh, never mind. <gasps> the battle was lost, but the war was nowhere near over! I find all my items once again, except probably the most important one. Where's my pickaxe? Well, if I wasn't screwed enough... I now have to build straight up like this, but the goose, of course, being hired by the Ender Dragon, says no. I build up once more, and once again he says no. The dragon says, thanks bro, and kills me. I return only to find all my armor yeeted by the Ender Dragon. All my armor? It's gone. I now have to use a more clever way to get up without the goose intervening. No goose, goose! Cooperate for once. I don't have my armor. Dude, I got it. That tower is really low. I'm now popping off. But so is the goose. No, my boots. I got it. Honestly, what the hell? But it's not over. Ooh, he took damage from that one. The goose keeps finding new ways to hinder my mission. Goose, you stop. Stop, seriously. But nothing will stand in my way. I realize that I do have two arrows at least. I'm so bad with bows. Where did it go? Oh, I hit the goose. <laughs> Yikes. Focus. Yes! I think the Ender Dragon is hacking just like the goose. He knocked me off. Almost. What? What? How? Back at the stronghold, I look for arrows in a chest and I find something completely different. Anything here I can use? <gasps> a few moments later, I'm back with one arrow. If I can gamer moment this one, please. <gasps> I'm so good! Mom, get the camera! I'm now ready for the Ender Dragon. Maybe I got a little bit too excited. Oh, what? Oh, did I look at five? How did that happen? Well, I think I'm dead. I'm not sure yet. It's finally time. How do I hit Senpai? He's taking damage. Is he gonna knock me the hell away now? I think he is. Oh shit. The goose now getting increasingly nervous as I'm about to kill his boss steals my sword and throws it off the edge of the map or something. I, c I really don't know. I couldn't find it. Yo, what the hell? Where's my sword? Ironically, I now have to finish him off the way I found him. With ender pearls. <gasps> I did it! I did it! Ooh. Wait, what? I died and now I feel like a kid who couldn't get into the Fortnite event and missed the fireworks, but the most important thing is I beat the Ender Dragon, despite this feathered mother.
that we call a goose. Before I head into the portal and we part ways, we share one last good look at each other without any exchange of words. Maybe someday we will meet again. Until then, the goose has found its place here along with the Enderman in the end. Hello, goose. Are you gonna help me beat the Ender Dragon? Absolutely f***ing not. I hate you. I hate you so much. You have a family now! No, don't you dare! Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you joking with me? Subscribe and smash the bell.